in the morning. Good morning. Let's face it, waking up early, living your best life, and juggling a busy workload can be close to impossible. But your morning routine is important. It sets the tone, pace, and energy for the rest of the day. If you hit the snooze button several times, rush your way through getting ready, and end up in rush hour traffic, you'll feel like you're in a constant race for the rest of the day. Hi, I'm Lisa, host of Wake Up to Power Up. Every Monday at 4 a.m., throw those covers off and be refreshed and ready to make the day amazing. Selena Hinojosa, <laughs> how do you wake up in the morning? If you had a perfect day where everything went perfectly, how would you wake up in the morning? Okay. If if this, if we're speaking um, hypothetically, my ideal day would be to, first of all, wake up without an alarm clock. All week long, we're, we wake up and we're, we're go, 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 go. And uh, I'm usually up and at them really early in the morning. So if this, if we're speaking about just my ideal day, I would love to get up on my own with no alarm clock. Um, after that, you know, Lisa, I'm pretty, uh, I'm a pretty much a homebody. So my ideal day would consist of having my my husband and my sons here at home, maybe having some uh, pancakes and just kind of chilling out at home. I'm a nerd. I love to read. Um, I like to watch, um, you know, just documentaries and the news on TV. So um, I'm kind of like a just a laid back. I know some people would think of their ideal day as doing this and doing that. I'm more of a laid back kind of person. I would like my ideal day to just be chilling out with my family at home. <laughs> I love that. And that is, you know, that is really the ideal life, right? I mean, yes. that's what we do. We go to work so that we can create a life that we want to live with our loved ones, right? We're humans yeah. to just be around people that we love. I just want to ask you in terms of fitness and routines, you know, this show sometimes is about sharing lessons and time hacks to get things done faster. Can you share for us maybe some fitness routines to enhance our success quick? Like if I just had a short period of time, how can I get in and get out? Yeah, so if you're in in a crunch for time, which who isn't, right? Um, I would recommend doing, even if it's a 20 minute routine, you can, you know, on uh, 20 to 30 minutes is really all you need to get a really effective workout. Um, when the COVID came around, um, uh, I started doing a lot more zoom workouts and which I'm still doing. Um, and so I started doing 30 minute workouts and a lot of people thought, well, 30 minutes doesn't seem like enough time to be able to get an effective workout wrong. You can do so much in, in just 30 minutes. Um, what I would do is set a timer. The timer that I like to use is, uh, let's see, it's called the Tabata timer. And oh. all it is, is just, it's a free app that you can download on your phone uh-huh. and you can do increments of like 30 second, um, 30 second worth of exercise of exercise with like 10 to 15 second rest and just do like a, a, a big circuit of your favorite exercises. And when I say your favorite exercises, it could be something that you find um, appealing and or fun. Um, you know, squats, lunges, good old fashioned jumping jacks, mountain climbers, and just doing a circuit of that for, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes, you can get really get your heart rate up and get a really great fat burning workout in, in a short period of time. I love that. So there's an actual app that would just take me through 30 seconds off, 30 seconds. Yeah. Off. Yes. So you, yeah, it kind of, it kind of looks like this. Let's see okay. here. There we go. That. Okay. And you can adjust it. You see where it says work and then it says rest and cycles. Uh-huh. You, you can adjust it to, um, let's say, you know, like if I was going to train somebody, I would set Uh, the work time for 40 seconds so they would do squats for 40 seconds and then and then the rest time would be 15 seconds because if you're working with a short period of time you don't want or need a whole lot of rest you want to keep your heart rate up um, during that short duration of time I love it I love it okay so in just a short of 30 minutes right so at least I mean come on you got 30 minutes somebody so let's at least get 30 minutes in you know and, and speaking of that Lisa um 
you know, throughout my my years of training, I come across women that men and women that are really busy and that maybe don't can't a lot 30 minutes of their time. And so my recommend my recommendation to them would be, okay, how about 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening? Break it up. You yeah. know, it doesn't have to be one solid block of 30 yes. minutes. Yes. Um, if you have to break it up, do what you got to do. Yeah, and even like in the work day. So I usually kind of track things. And so like if I track that I need to do like say 100 burpees. That doesn't mean I'm doing 100 burpees like knocking them out in the morning. Right. I could just do a timer every hour, knock out 10. Absolutely. And Absolutely. And it doesn't feel anything. Feel like anything and I did it, right? Yes. Yeah, you can I mean if you really if you really and truly want to get something done, you can make it happen in a short period of time. I'm Lisa Wisner. Join me every Monday at 4 a.m. for Wake Up to Power Up. It's a new day.